Hey, what's up, guys? The Explanation Pro is here. Today, I'll explain a thriller movie, Army of Thieves. Spoilers incoming. The movie starts with a narration from the main character telling his favorite story. Then the setting switch into another dimension as he starts to tell a story beginning in a typical once upon a time phrase. His story is all about a series of four safes of Richard Wagner's opera, The Legendary Ring Cycle. The four safes are named Das Rheingold, The Valkyrie, Siegfried, and The Gotterdammerung, in which these safes have different numbers of possible combinations before you could open the safes. The safes cannot be forced open, because it will either incinerate all the contents inside or be locked forever. The creator of the safes, Hans Wagner, locked himself inside one of his own creations, Then Sebastian's story ends. He's recording himself while he's telling the story. Ends with a thank you, introduces himself as Sebastian Schlenkt Wohnert, and then requests his viewers to subscribe. But unfortunately, all his videos don't have a single view yet. After uploading his video, he starts a timer on his watch and practices cracking a lock in just under 8 seconds and taps himself for doing a good job. Then he says that he will start again with another boring day. He wears his suit and tie, makes a sandwich and goes out of his house, walks to an alley and goes to a coffee shop. Inside the coffee shop, he orders a cup of coffee and the barista knows his usual order, walks out and goes straight to his office to work as a bank teller. His first customer is very unpleasant. He even sees her as a zombie, for there is an outbreak of the zombie apocalypse in the United States of America that's in the news. Another day came and he's saying that he will take his lunch. He went outside and sat on the corner while it's pouring rain outside and he's eating his sandwich. After eating his sandwich, he sits and opens his laptop and finds out that there's a comment on his video. He's very happy and reads the comment saying, want to put your skills to the test. There's an address in the comment and says that the password is Gotterdammerung. His face starts beaming. He is now on a train and while he walks towards the man standing outside the address that he received, he nervously asks in German, then switches to English and whispers the secret code. He says it again in a whispered tone and when he says Gotterdammerung in his normal voice, The man escorted him inside the place. The announcer announces his name, but then stops because the announcer didn't know how to pronounce his last name. And the crowd laughs. He's in an arena where there are many audience members and he's with other competitors. He has absolutely no idea what's going on, but the man who escorted him says that he should get to work. He's asking the other competitor what they're going to do, but he gets no response. The announcer in the background says that everyone in the crowd should place their bets. The announcer says that the clock is set for seven minutes, and then marks, go. The other competitors start to crack their safes, and he's still standing there wondering what he's going to do. The announcer says that only four competitors are allowed to advance to the next stage. He placed as a fourth one, and advances to the next stage. The announcer calls out each competitor's aliases, and he's aliased as Mr. Nervous Guy, for he's the only new in the competition. This time, the clock is set for five minutes, and they all start to crack their safe. Two dials are on the safe, and the one competitor named Neo finishes first, and then Sebastian second. The final round is set to three minutes, and there are three dials this time. Neo starts when the announcer marks start, but Sebastian just watches Neo struggling to unlock the safe. Neo has a device and starts to plug it in his ears, but Sebastian just touches the vault, and a vision of what is inside the vault flashes, and he smiles, for he knows already how to crack the code. Sebastian is talking to Neo that it's a difficult safe to crack, and everyone is confused, for he's not even starting to unlock it, and the time is ticking. Sebastian looks at the clock, and he mentions that they only have a minute left, and he still has not even started unlocking the safe. And Neo, with a side comment, that the reason he doesn't even start yet, is because Sebastian doesn't know how to crack it. Sebastian is still talking to Neo, and Neo is getting annoyed, and tells him to shut up. 30 seconds remain on the clock, and he starts to unlock the first dial, up until the third one, he just finishes to unlock it in just 9 seconds. The announcer announces him as the new champion, The crowd is cheering for Mr. Nervous Guy, and while he's saying thank you, even though he has absolutely no idea what's happening, he then sees a beautiful woman in the crowd. Then his narration enters, saying that the woman's name is Gwendolyn, and he falls for her at first sight, before he even knows that she's a criminal. Then he goes home with his trophy, and starts his everyday routine again, but then he's in the coffee shop. Gwendolyn meets him, and he splashes his coffee in shock that the woman is in front of him. They're having a conversation and Gwendolyn introduces herself as a wanted criminal doing international heists. Sebastian gulps. He says it, and did it at the same time, that Gwendolyn finds it funny. When Gwendolyn says that she's recruiting him to join the crew, he asks if he's being spunked, but he actually means punked, and Gwendolyn says that he isn't spunked or punked. She says that they're going to heist the ring cycle, and that after that conversation, 
she leaves a paper with an address. He is now in his house and is paranoid of the zombie apocalypse happening that he even dreams about it. The next day, he went to that address on the paper. He knocks and says, sorry that he doesn't know what the secret knock is, but Gwendolyn says that there isn't one, and he's whispering, and Gwendolyn says that there's no need to whisper in her whisper tone. He's in, and the house is full of cats, and Gwendolyn introduces him to the crew, starting with a woman named Karina Dominguez, the master hacker, hacked one of the motion picture companies just for her brother to watch Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Karina calls him a nerd, saying that it's a compliment from a nerd to another nerd. Sebastian sniffs and tears fill and Karina says that there's no need to cry and he explains that he has a cat allergy. The next crew member is Rolf, the getaway driver, and then Mr. Brad Cage, their protector, and Gwendolyn introduces Sebastian as a safecracker with an unpronounceable last name. Karina starts to brief their plan, then starts to move and they are now in Paris. Then Gwendolyn is briefing Sebastian what they're going to do. Sebastian will go in first. Then Gwendolyn will follow, lifting the keys from the security guard and asking for a safety deposit box that's already set up. Then Karina will enter, that will make the receptionist to leave Gwendolyn alone, and she will pick him up to go to the vault. Then he's going to crack it. He's wiggling his hands, saying that he's warming up his instruments, and starts to ask if she knows the story of Wagner's ring cycle. And he starts to tell her the story, and starts the Rheingold opera as the background, and starts to crack the safe with three dials. He then opens it, and he attempts to kiss Gwendolyn, but is rejected. The narration of the plans continues that Mr. Brad Cage will be the final distraction, and then they will all go out. Sebastian says that it's not easy, but Gwendolyn says that it's already done, and he has the money bag. Then there's a party in the house they're staying in, and Karina asks Sebastian if he wants to make out with her, but his eyes are still on Gwendolyn, and Karina advises him to be careful. Then Sebastian walks towards Gwendolyn's room and has a little conversation, mentioning that Mr. Brad Cage's real name is Alexis, and Gwen asks him if he ever considered a simpler name, and he says that he wrote a comic and the main character there is Ludwig Dieter. Gwendolyn says that it's easier to pronounce. They are now on to the next heist, and Interpol are on to them. Sebastian is really scared, but he still wants to crack the safe. He enters the bank, and they communicate through an earphone, and Karina is instructing Sebastian on the way to go. Then the security at the bank finds Sebastian suspicious. On the other side, Interpol is still on standby if the crew has any movements. Back to Sebastian, they are now on the elevator going to the vault, and then there are security guards waiting for them. But Gwendolyn takes action and knocks them out. Then Sebastian takes his routine, the storytelling, the music, and then unlocking the safe. But his first attempt is a failure, that the vault is on a reset, and when he makes another mistake, it will lock forever. On the other side, Interpol is going into the bank. They are now on the move, and the alert level on the bank tightens, that the crew has to go to plan B. Interpol asks them to open the gate while the manager is trying to tell them something, and the leader of the Interpol team is very angry because they are at the wrong bank. The plan B is now that Mr. Brad Cage enters the bank in a mask and makes it look like a robbery that causes commotion, but he is shot in the shoulder. They are now leaving the bank, and they are running to get to the van, but suddenly Mr. Cage drops Sebastian onto the street, and Sebastian doesn't know what to do. He's now running, and tries everything to get out of the sight of the police. He even robs a bike, and then rides it down the stairs just to escape. Then he finds a train and then jumps onto it. Then he makes his escape. Gwendolyn is very disappointed on what Mr. Cage did, that she even calls him Alexis. He says that it was part of the plan, but Gwen says that it was not part of the plan. It was all about the money for Alexis, but not for Gwen. Gwen jumps out of the van, and the van stops because Karina is taking Gwen's side and got a bag of money, because Karina says that she put a lot of effort into the next heist. With a down face, Sebastian enters his house, not even noticing the two girls sitting there. They are whispering what they're going to say, because he didn't even notice them, and then suddenly Karina says, surprise, and the coffee Sebastian poured himself spills all over him. The girls want Sebastian to be in the heist again, and convince him to do it with them. They are now going to the casino, and Interpol is on standby, and one of the police officers asks the commander if they are going to the right casino. They detected communication that the crew will go in at 5, then they started to move, and then the manager of the casino said that they were aware of the risk, and they moved up the vault transfer an hour and a half prior. Gwen is at the wheels of the truck that has the vault, and Sebastian is trying to crack the seven dials of it while moving. Interpol gets Karina, and Alexis is onto them, because he tracks them with the GPS encrypted on Gwen's phone. Since the road is zigzagging, they get into a bit of a problem, for the safe is not opening, then suddenly it unlocks, and then they get some of the money, but then Alexis catches up to them and points a gun into them, but the firing pin has been removed, and Gwen shows the gun which is loaded. Sebastian tries to punch Alexis, but he's the one who hurts his hand in the end. Gwen ties them to the truck, and Interpol gets Alexis and Rolf. Gwen and Sebastian are now making their escape, 
but the commander of Interpol gets them. Gwen negotiates to let Sebastian go, for he's not a criminal, and the target is just her and Alexis. The commander agrees to let Sebastian go and get Gwen. He got their passports, and the one for him is named as Ludwig Dieter. The story ends with a man and a woman looking for a locksmith that could crack the Götterdämmerung, and he then agrees, amidst the zombie apocalypse still happening. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.